hey guys and welcome to this channel in this video i bring you more information concerning lizzie and jerry and to abraham's fight recall that a few days ago i told you that it seemed like another fight is brewing between these guys to abraham and lizzie and jerry that is when iria jemi to abraham's son celebrated his third year birthday a few days ago and lizzie and jerry posted him and wished him a happy birthday this caused a lot of nigerians to think some things like okay what is lizzie trying to achieve and if you recover well that in that video i mentioned that it's either this um you know this pm have actually settled their beef outside of the camera i mean without the camera and lizzie is just trying to tell us that there is no bad blood anymore or lizzie is just trying to instigate and you know just being a bitter person anyways tony abraham who initially ignored lizzie and jerry's post celebrating our son has now come out to clarify things and let us know what the stand is between herself and lizzie and jerry for those of you who do not know when this fight actually happened a few years ago when Ivre was just a toddler lizzie and jerry said to abraham took um some anonymous pages basically sent a troll after her to comment on her page she said the person used um what do they call these pages now a fake page to comment on that one of her posts and she, that the person is a strong to abraham fan so she's certain that to abraham sent this person's this person to troll her and to abraham wept on live um on instagram live saying that she knew nothing about this and lizzie and jerry is just putting her on a blast for nothing because lizzie and jerry revealed some very very horrible things concerning to abraham said some horrible things concerning her and her son and also reviewed some things concerning to abraham that he wanted to keep very private you know so that happened and it took the interference of a lot of celebrities you know people to come and talk about it for the issue to die, die down and lizzie to agree to you know stop talking about it now so abraham has now come to say that when that issue happened that when although online he died out she didn't let it die without clarification she wanted lizzie to know what was going on and she really wanted to know what was going on so she said she involved the police so yeah it was the police that actually now finally ended this beef and this rift between to abraham i just let the cat out of the bag i know to abraham has come to say that herself and lizzie and jerry actually are now in good terms and that whatever happened between them is now a thing of the past she said that some investigations went on and she had to hold on until the conclusion was you know given to her concerning the investigation that police actually and um, um, you know embarked upon before she would give um, any clarification and she said that following the investigation and following both of them actually showing up at the police station to tender their grievances and say what is wrong with the other person they they realized that lizzie and jerry was actually just going with a comment that somebody made from and the uh, comment of one of her fans made and she just ran with it and didn't let it slide but that to abraham is not in the wrong to abraham did not send trolls after lizzie and jerry for whatever reason and so both of them decided to bury the hatchet actually announcing this to the world and putting out the statement to abraham posted two different images mentioning that holding a grudge does not make any sense and also that the air is um is human but forgiveness is divine i just told you one of the posts she said so here he's human to forgive divine and then another post reads holding a grudge doesn't make you strong it makes you bitter forgiveness doesn't make you weak it sets you free and so to abraham said some things and i'm going to tell you what she said in her own words so guys i'm quoting to abraham now let's go so abraham said it is important that i make these clarifications and share this information with the public especially after the conclusion of police investigation lizzie and jerry and i we no longer have issues yes i had to get the police involved the investigations revealed that i did not wrong her she ran with a comment of a fan which did not come from me at the police station we tabled our grievances and she apologized and we have since moved on this clarification is important for some reasons and the police have concluded their investigations and so i need to let the public know 
So Abraham did not stop here. She now made refer reference to the children's situation because, like I mentioned, Lizzie and John really came hard for Ivia Jamie and said some horrible things concerning her. In fact, when um, um a few months down the line, Lizzie and John welcomed her own daughter. A lot of persons were like, "So, what? How?" How did Lizzie feel having a child now when she said horrible things concerning Toyin's um, son? You get, you know, like as a new mother, what was the difference? And apparently, Lizzie already even have had a grown, have a grown up child, you know, from a previous relationship when she was in her ten years. She already has a grown up child. So people are like you are even a mother. Why would you say such things concerning someone else's child? And so, um, so Abraham touched on that, and in a statement, she said, "Please, I am begging." anything that has to do with me and lizzie is now in the past i beg you and i also want to beg everyone every child is my child no matter how the case may be please kindly take children out of it i am on my knees i am begging thank you and love you all thank you this is what to Abraham said, saying that people should take their children's name out of it. If you recall the Instagram live that to Abraham did, and I said she wept on, she actually was saying that the only thing she really would not take is somebody coming for her husband and her child because all the while when lizzie said to abraham did things to abraham never responded it was just online lizzie was just talking and talking and talking but the moment lizzie started saying things concerning lizzie um to abraham's son so abraham also had to up on instagram live and say that she would not joke with her son or her husband for any reason which is why i think she came out again to say that regardless of what situation this be no matter how the case may be please kindly take children out of it she even said she was on her knees and she's begging lastly she says i want to say a huge thanks to all my fans for always supporting my brand and loving me unconditionally now to abraham mentioning children is what rumitorella has to take from all of this because to rumitorella said kindly take children out of it in quotes she quoted that statement and said well done my woman only new repro max god bless your heart apparently rumitorella has had issues with some of her friends over children and whatnot so she's really also very really keen on you know taking children's name out of whatever the situation may be between yourself and another adult yeah about joffe priest who is another celebrity that was very much involved when this whole scenario was happened said peace because of course this is peace at last for everybody that was involved one way or, or, or another when the old situation was going now some fans of Tony abraham however are of the opinion that yes while Lizzie and Jeremy and Tony Abraham might not have any active beef and they might be good now, so Abraham should please not make Lizzie and Jeremy a friend because she's not somebody you need to be friends with. And this is from Oyelola Abbey. She says, yes, you are a woman of peace, love, and you are of Christ. But remember, be wise. Even the Bible taught us to be wise. She's not somebody to dine with. I know you understand my proverb. Another person, Babatin De Titilayo says, love your world best, but please don't be friends though. Don't be a friend though. Don't have anything to do with her. I'm happy for the peace though. Another person is saying, well, thank you for the clarification. So that is saying it is well with both of them. And they're saying they're just happy that Tony is such an humble person and that her husband is such an humble individual. And God will bless our wisdom. God will bless what best, you know. Mixed reactions though. While some persons are genuinely happy that Tony Abraham clarified the situation following, you know, Lizzie's um congratulatory message and celebratory message to we will add jme to abraham's son that she ignored the person was even like where even like to abraham was being proud by not acknowledging lizzie and jerry's post concerning her son but now to abraham has clarified the situation and all is apparently well with both of them so no fight is brewing and it is well thank you very much guys for watching this video let me know if you enjoyed it i'm going to be ending this video here in the comment section also like people have expressed their opinion on Tony's page i want you to also express your opinions here let me know what you think concerning the whole debacle concerning the whole situation i'd love to hear from you thank you so much guys for watching this video share with everyone around you so that people would know that there is peace now in the land. Tony Abraham and Lizzie and Jeremy have apparently taken their beef and it is now a thing of the past. If you like this video, share it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you're here to do so. And click on the bell icon that will pop up once you subscribe. It says the notification bell and that is what is going to let you know when we have new updates for you to view. I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.